Before I start this video, I just want to show you some of the drills which I have acquired. This one, Black & Decker, belonged to my father and he bought it in around about 1970, which makes it about 50 years old. Next I have this uh, Meister drill, which is made in Germany. It's uh, 650 watt and it has really served me very well. I bought it in about 2002, so that's 20 years old. Now I have this drill here, which is uh, also 760 watt. It's made by Far Tools. I think it is probably about um, at least 10, maybe 12 years old. So now that you've seen all my drills, uh, you can see how long they've lasted. You will understand how disappointed I was when I bought this drill, um, probably one and a half to two years ago, and um, I've treated it very nicely. You can see how clean everything is. I clean it after every use. I've used it, uh, I would say, five or six times. It's a nice, uh, powerful one. It's 850 watts. It's got adjustable, adjustable speed. And then this happened. There is the reverse and the forward. Now what I did, I went online and I went onto Amazon and I bought this little trigger, me trigger mechanism and hopefully I'm going to be able to do something and repair this. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take out all the screws. What I know. So now I'm going to get a very small screwdriver and just push it into the gap there and try and lever everything up. To open it. I must warn you, uh, be very careful if you're going to be doing this, be very careful about this little switch over here. This is the one that goes uh, from drill to, uh, to hammer drill. On the hammer drill switch, I don't know if you can see that little ball bearing over there. The first time I took the drill apart, that caused a big issue. So now I'm going to take out my trigger, trigger mechanism, the new one I bought. Hopefully it's going to work. These two little wires that go into the top of the, uh, of the trigger, they're actually held in place by um, a sort of like a spring tab mechanism. So you've actually just got to prise it open. I put a needle into the back here. going to take this out now. You'll notice on the other side of this top piece there's also a black and blue wire there. And now what you can do is just pull that top off. And this little box has got a lid on it with the wiring instructions on top there. And um, there's a little lip over here. If you get a blade and just pop it off. And now you can see how the wires are secured by that little plate over there. So if you just push the plate away, then the wire should be able to come out quite easily. Do the same to the black one. So now I'm going to get my new trigger, use the blade and put it in there and just ease that top off. Clip it onto the old one. 
Now I'm going to put the wires into the far side first. And now I'm going to push these wires in. That little ball bearing is actually on a spring, so I'm just going to push it back in again. And I'm going to turn the switch a little bit, and now I can put the cover back on. Now I can start putting the screws back in, once again from the top. And now I'm very happy that everything works perfectly again. Forward and reverse, forward and reverse.